Hi, my name is Charles Kim, and I want to tell you a little bit about CloudRail and infrastructure as code security. Over the last three years, the design and management of cloud infrastructure is increasingly being handled by infrastructure as code technologies like Terraform. The challenge with adopting infrastructure as code, or IAC for short, is that the process for evaluating IAC against an organization's security requirements is still manual. This is error prone and does not scale. The problem is that most cloud security vendors have designed their tools to be reactive. These types of solutions significantly reduce the benefits of using IAC. Recently, the open source community has introduced a lot of options to help with these concerns. While these solutions are good, they have two major shortcomings that large organizations typically face today. Number one, they only look at Terraform files themselves and do not take into account existing cloud environments or the use of modules and variables. Number two, they do not factor in the relationships between resources and how that determines a true violation. These two shortcomings make it hard for large organizations to automate security validations for IAC, and we've tackled these with the Cloud Rail platform. Let's take a look at an actual Terraform file to explain this in detail. Now here, someone in my team constructed a basic two-tier web service in Terraform. I have a public-facing web server and an RDS instance defined in the private subnet. In order for the web server to reach the RDS instance, it should route to the private subnet. Pretty straightforward, right? Well, let's have CloudRail take a pass to the Terraform file. Since we just want to see what CloudRail would identify, we can just run CloudRail CLI and run in detect mode, which is on by default. Running evaluations are straightforward. I just need to type CloudRail run and then pass a Terraform plant file to the CLI and let it know where my directory is located. Now let's look at the results of the evaluation here. CloudRail has identified that the RDS is indirectly accessible from the EC2. How is this possible? If you look at the evidence field, CloudRail explains all the network relations in detail. In this case, it turns out that the RDS also belongs to the same subnet as the EC2 instance and the EC2 is internet exposed. Doing these types of evaluations become increasingly problematic as the environment grows. In some cases, we've seen organizations have over 30,000 objects running in production. Imagine trying to review something like that regularly. Running into violations like this can be rather common. This can happen because there are multiple teams involved. Usually there are multiple projects happening at the same time. Many times they're often touching the same set of Terraform files. Further compounding this problem, there can be a separate sets of Terraform files targeting the same cloud environment, influencing each other. CloudRail is able to handle all of this because it is ingesting the plant file and taking your live and build environment into our context database. What is context? CloudRail maintains a graph database that tracks resource relations within the context of the network and IAM space. In doing so, we naturally understand how one cloud resource has access to another resource. We can answer simple yet convoluted questions like, what makes any resource exposed to the public? Before a customer deploys a misconfiguration. At Indeni, we have grown a team of security experts that analyze potential attack patterns for you. Because we can see how the existing environment is built and is planned to be built, we can help our customers harden their perimeter before they even deploy their environment. Obviously, most organizations have environments much bigger than the one I showed, and most are continuing to grow. Once our users have a clear assessment on what security violations are important to them, they can use CloudRail to enforce their requirements within their CICD pipelines. Take CloudRail for a spin. You can find us on GitHub where you can try CloudRail on your own. We have also included intentionally vulnerable Terraform files so that you can see CloudRail in action without having to touch your own files. If you'd like to give us feedback, we have a user group in Slack that you can join. Send over an email and we'll add you to the group shortly. Thank you.